Hi, honey. Hi, mom. You feeling any better? A little bit. Guess what? What? Your grandfather's here. Mom, can't you tell him I'm sick? You're sick, that's why he's here. But he's gonna pinch my cheeks. I hate that. Hey! How's the sick guy? I'm just gonna leave you two pals alone, okay? Yes, great. Mwah. I got you a, a special gift. What is it? A book? Yes, that's right. When I was your age, television was called books. And this is a very special book. This is a book that my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read this to your father. And today, I'm gonna read it to you. Has it got any sports in it? Are you kidding me? It's got fencing, fighting, torture, revenge, giants, aces, escapes, true love, miracles. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. Oh, well, thank you very much. Your vote of confidence is, is overwhelming. The Princess Bride by S. Morgan Stern, Chapter One. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florin. Her favorite pastimes were riding a horse and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Wesley, but she never called him that. Isn't that a wonderful beginning? Yeah, it's really good. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face in it by morning. As you wish. As you wish is all he ever said to her. Farm boy, fill this with water. Please. As you wish. That day, she was amazed to discover that when he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. Farm boy. And even more amazing was the day she realized she truly loved him back. Would you fetch me that picture? As you wish. What is this? Are you trying to trick me? Where's the sports? Is this a kissing story? Wait. Just wait. When's it get good? Keep your shirt on. Let me read. It was a very emotional time for Buttercup. But I fear I'll never see you again. Of course you will. But what if something happens to you? Hear this now. I will always come for you. But how can you be so sure? This is true love. You think this happens every day? Wesley didn't reach his destination. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate Roberts, who never left captives alive. When Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered... Murdered by pirates is good. She went into her room and shut the door, and for days, she neither slept nor ate. I will never love again. My people, a month from now, our country will celebrate its 500th anniversary. And on that sundown, I shall marry a lady who was once a commoner like yourselves. No way. Would you like to meet her? Yes! My people, the Princess Buttercup. Buttercup's emptiness consumed her. Although the law of the land gave Humperdinck the right to choose his bride, she did not love him. Despite Humperdinck's reassurance that she would grow to love him, the only joy she found was in her daily ride. A word, my lady. We are but poor lost circus performers. Is there a village nearby? There's nothing nearby. Not for miles. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. Ah! What is that you're reaping? It is fabric from the uniform of an army officer of Gilder. Who's Gilder? 
The country across the sea, the sworn enemy of Florin. Go! Once the horse reaches the castle, the fabric will make the prince suspect that the Gildarians have abducted his love. When he finds her body dead on the Gilder frontier, his suspicions will be confirmed. We never said anything about killing anyone. I have hired you to help me start a war. It is a prestigious line of work with a long and glorious history. I just don't think it's right, killing an innocent girl. Am I going mad? Or did the word think just cross your lips? I did not hire you for your brains, you hippopotamic landmass. I agree with Fessik. Ah, the sot has spoken. I will kill her myself. And do not forget this, never forget this. When I found you, you were a slobbering drunk who couldn't even buy brandy. And you, friendless, brainless, helpless, hopeless, you want me to send you back to where you were, huh? Unemployed in Greenland? That Vicini, he can... Fuss. Fuss, fuss. I think he likes to scream at us. Probably he means no harm. He's really very short on charm. You have a great gift for rhyme. Yes, yes. Some of the time. Enough of that. Physic, are there rocks ahead? If they are, we'll all be dead. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? Gah! Why are you doing that? Making sure nobody is following us. That would be inconceivable. Despite what you think, you will be caught. And when you are, the prince will see you all hanged. Of all the necks on this boat, Highness, the one you should be worrying about is your own. Stop doing that. We can all relax. It's almost over. You're sure nobody's following us? As I told you, it would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways inconceivable. No one in Gilder knows what we've done, and no one in Florin could have gotten here so fast. Out of curiosity, oh, why do you ask? It's only I just happened to look behind us, and something is there. What? Probably a local fisherman out for a pleasure cruise at night through eel-infested waters. Go in, get after her! I don't know, swim. I only don't paddle. To your left! Laugh, laugh! Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the shrieking eels. If you doubt me, they always grow louder when they're about to feast on human flesh. What? If you swim what? back now, I promise no harm will come to you. I doubt you'll get such an offer from the eels. She doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. What? The eel doesn't get her. I'm explaining it to you because you look nervous. I wasn't nervous. Maybe I was a little bit concerned. But that's not the same thing. Because I can stop now, if you want. No. You can read a little bit more. Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the shrieking eels. We're past that, Grandpa. You read it already. Oh, my goodness, I did. I'm sorry. Beg your pardon. Uh, all right, all right, let's see. Uh, she was in the water. The eel was coming after her. She was frightened. The eel started to charge her, and then... I think he's getting closer. He's no concern of ours. Sail on! I suppose you think you're brave, don't you? Only compared to some. 
Look, he is right on top of us. I wonder if he's using the same wind we are using. Whoever he is, he's too late. Look, the cliffs of insanity. We're safe. Only Fezzik is strong enough to go up our way. He'll have to sail around for hours till he finds a harbor. He's climbing the rope, and he's gaining on us. Inconceivable! Faster! I thought I was going faster! You were supposed to be this colossus, this great legendary thing, and yet he gains! Well, I'm carrying three people, and he's got only himself. Now I don't accept excuses, I'm just gonna have to find a new giant, that's all. Don't say that, Vincini. Please. Did I make it clear that your job is at stake? Good arms. He didn't fall? Inconceivable! You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. My God, he's climbing. Whoever he is, he's obviously seen us with the princess and must therefore die. You, carry her. We'll head straight for the Gilder frontier. Catch up when he's dead. If he falls, fine. If not, the sword. I want to duel him left-handed. You know what a hurry we're in. Well... It's the only way I can be satisfied. If I use my right, over too quickly. Fine, have it your way. You be careful. People in masks can all be trusted. I'm waiting. <clears throat> Hello there. <clears throat> Slow going. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. Sorry. Thank you. <gasps> I do not suppose you could speed things up? If you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch or find something useful to do. I could do that. In fact, I, I've got some rope here. But I don't think you would accept my help since I am just waiting around to kill you. That does put a damper on our relationship. I promise you will reach the top of life. That's very comforting. But I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I hate waiting. I, I could give you my word as a Spaniard. No good. I've known too many Spaniards. So you cannot find another way to trust me? Nothing comes to mind. I swear. On the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya. You will reach the top alive. Throw me the rope. Okay. Thank you. We'll wait until you're ready. Once again, thank you. I don't mean to pry, but I guess you wouldn't have six fingers on that right hand of yours, do you? Do you always begin conversations this way? My father was slaughtered by a sixth finger man. He was a sword maker, my father. A great one. And when the Sixth Finger Man arrived, 
and asked for a very special sword. My father took the job. He slaved for one year. Until he was done. I've never seen its equal. The Six Finger Man returned and demanded it. But he offered one tenth of his promised price. My father refused. Without a word, the Six Finger Man slashed him through the heart. Obviously, I challenged his murder with a duel. But I failed. The Six Finger Man left me alive with the special sword. And this. And this. How old were you? I was 11 years old. But when I got strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will not fail. I will go up to the Six Finger Man and say, Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You've done nothing but study swordplay. Well, more pursuit than story. <laughs> it's been 20 years now. I'm starting to lose my confidence. Ah. <sighs> There's not a lot of money in revenge, you know. <laughs> That's why I work with Bizini to pay the bills. Well, I certainly hope you find him someday. <clears throat> Are you ready? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Begin. against me. I thought it fitting, considering the rocky terrain. Oh, but you expect me to use Capoferro, huh? Naturally. I find Tibble cancels out Capoferro, don't you? That is true. Unless your enemy has studied their Agrippa. Which I have. You're wonderful. Thank you. I've worked hard to become so. I admit it. You're better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't. And what is that? I'm not left-handed. You are amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. Then there's something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. <laughs> No one of consequence. I gotta know. Get used to disappointment. Okay. <sighs> Just kill me quickly. I would assume destroy a stained glass window as an artist like yourself. However, since I can't have you follow me around either. <gasps> Please understand, I hold you in the highest respect. Inconceivable! All right, give it to me. Catch up with us quickly. What do I do? You, you, you finish him. Finish him your way. Oh, my way. Which way is my way? Pick up one of those rocks. In a few minutes, a man in black will come around the bend. When you see his face, the moment you see his face, you smash it with the rock! Get it together! Let's go! My way is not very sportsmanlike. Do 
did that on purpose. You didn't have to miss. So what happens now? We face each other as God intended. Sportsmanlike. No tricks, no weapons. Frankly, I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. It's not my fault I'm the biggest and the strongest. What do I do? Look, are you just fiddling around with me or what? I want you to feel as if you're doing well. You're quick. That's a good thing, too. They wear a mask. Oh, no, I think they're just terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be wearing them in the future. <clears throat> I just figured out why you give me so much trouble. <clears throat> and why is that, Dave? It's been so long since I fought just one person. But specializing in groups, battling gangs for local charities, that type of thing. <clears throat> yeah. Why should that make such a difference? Well, you use different moves when you're fighting half a dozen people. And when you just have to worry about one. I don't envy the headache you will have when you awake. But in the meantime, rest well. And dream of large women. There was a mighty duel. Two masters. The battle raged all over. Who won? How did it end? The loser went off alone. The winner followed these footsteps towards Gilder. Should we track them both? The loser is nothing. Only the princess matters. This is clearly all set up by the warriors of Gilder. We must be ready for whatever lies ahead. Could it be a trap? I always think everything could be a trap. That's why I'm still alive. So, it's down to you, and it is down to me. If you wish you're dead, by all means, keep moving forward. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You're trying to kidnap what I've rightfully stolen. Perhaps an arrangement can be reached. There can be no arrangement in your killing her. If there can be no arrangement, then we are at an impasse. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically. And you're no match for my brains. Yo, that's smart. Have you heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. <laughs> then pour the wine. Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves completely in water, and is one of the more deadly poisons known to man. Hmm. <laughs> now. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you choose and we both drink. And we will find out who is right and who is dead. Well, it's all so simple. All I need to do is divine from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man that would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet knowing that only a great fool would take what was given to him. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But. I'm not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've made your decision then? <laughs> not remotely! Because Iocane comes from Australia, as everyone knows, and Australia is entirely peopled with criminals. And criminals are used to people not trusting them, as you are not trusted by me, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! Where was I? Australia. Yes, Australia! And you would have suspected that I knew of the powder's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which must mean that you're exceptionally strong. So you could put the poison in your own goblet, counting on your strength to save you. But 
you also bested my Spaniard, which means you must have studied. And in studying, you learned that man is mortal. So you would have put the poison as far away from yourself as possible so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving something away. It won't work. It has worked! You've given everything away! I know where the poison is! Then make your choice. I will, and I choose... What in the world can that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. Oh, I, I could have sworn I saw something. Oh, well, no matter. <laughs> What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. But first, let's drink. You for your glass, and me for mine. wrong you only think i guess wrong that's what's so funny i switched glasses when your back was turned <laughs> you fool you fell victim to one of the classic blunders the most well known is this never get involved in a land war in asia but only slightly less well known is this never go in against a sicilian when death is on the line <laughs> <laughs> And to think, all that time it was your cup that was poisoned. I poisoned both the glasses. I spent the last few years developing an immunity to iocane powder. Someone has beaten a giant. There will be great suffering in Gilder if she dies. <laughs> Get your breath. If you'll release me, whatever you ask for, Rose, you'll get it. I promise you. <laughs> and what is that worth? The promise of a woman? You're very funny, Highness. I was giving you a chance. There's no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. He could track a falcon on a cloudy day. He can find you. You think your dearest love will save you? I never said he was my dearest love. And yes, he will save me. That I know. Then you admit to me you do not love your fiancé. He knows I do not love him. I'm not capable of love, is what you mean. I have loved more deeply than a killer like you could ever dream. That was a warning, Your Highness. Next time my hand flies on its own for where I come from, there's a penalty when women lie. <laughs> Cane. I'll bet my life on it. And there are the princess's footprints. She's alive, or she was an hour ago. If she is otherwise when I find her, I shall be very put out. Bugle. Can you bugle. Rest, Hans. I know who you are. Your cruelty reveals everything. You are the dread pirate Robert. Admit it. With pride. What can I do for you? You can die slowly, cut into a thousand pieces. Hardly complimentary, Highness. Why lose your venom on me? You killed my love! It's possible. I kill a lot of people. Who was this love of yours? Not a prince like this one, ugly, rich, and scabby? No, a farm boy. Poor. Poor and perfect. With eyes like the sea after a storm. On the high seas, your ship attacked, and the dread pirate Roberts never takes prisoners. Well, I can't afford to make exceptions. Once word leaks out that a pirate's gone soft, people begin to disobey you, and then it's nothing but work, work, work all the time. You mock my pain! Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who tells me differently is selling something. I remember this farm boy of yours. This should be, what, uh, five years ago? Does it bother you? Nothing you can say will upset me. He died well. That should please you. No bribe attempts or blubbering. He simply said, please, please, I need to live. It was the please that caught my memory. I asked him what was so important for him. True love, he replied. He spoke of a girl of surpassing beauty and faith. I can only assume he meant you. You should bless me for destroying him before he found out what you really are. And what am I? Faithfulness, he talked of, madam. Your enduring faithfulness. Now tell me truly, when you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince the same hour? Did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mocked me once! Never do it again! I died that day! 
horses. And you can die too for all I care. Ah, oh. you wish. My sweet Wesley, what have I done? Disappeared. He must have seen us coming. It would account for him panicking in error. Unless I am wrong, and I am never wrong, they are headed dead into the fire swamp. You go in the middle. Can you move at all? Move? You're alive. If you want, I can fly. I told you I would come for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. I'll never doubt again. There will never be a need. Oh, no, no, please. What is it? What's the matter? They're kissing again. Do we have to hear the kissing part? <laughs> you know, someday you may not mind so much. Skip onto the fire swamp. That sounded good. You're sick, so I'll humor you. Let's see now. Where were we? Ah. Leslie and Buttercup raced across the ravine floor. Ha! Your pig fiancé is too late. A few more steps and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. We'll never survive. Nonsense. You're only saying that because no one ever has. Not that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build summer home here, but the trees are actually quite lovely. Singed <laughs> a bit, were you? You. You see, what I said before about saying please was true. Finally, Roberts decided something. He said, all right, Wesley, never had a valet. You can try it for the night. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. It was a fine time for me. I learned to fence, fight, anything anyone would teach me. Well, Robertson had gone so rich, he wanted to retire. So he took me to his cabin, told me a secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. I inherited this ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you will inherit it from me. The real Roberts had been retired 15 years and living like a king in Patagonia. Thank you. Then he explained it was the name that was important for inspiring necessary fear. You see, no one would surrender to the dread pirate Wesley. So we sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while as first mate, all the time calling me Roberts. And once the crew believed, uh, he left the ship, and I've been Roberts ever since. Except now that we're together. I shall retire and hand the name over to someone else. Is everything clear to you? Get out of here. Might as well die here. No! No, no. We've already succeeded. Oh, come on! What do we have to fear here? The fire? Not a problem. The, the quicksand? Well, we got out of that, didn't we? Very, very quick. But, but what about the ROUSs? The huge rodents? I don't think we're going to have a problem with them. Oh, oh shit! Oh, God. 
God. Oh, oh no. Oh. Uh. <sighs> now, was that so terrible? Surrender! You mean you wish to surrender to me? Very well. I accept. I give you full marks for bravery. Do not make yourself a fool. Ah. But how will you capture us? We know the secrets of the Fire Swamp. We can live there safely for quite some time. So whenever you feel like dying, feel free to visit. I tell you once again, surrender. It will not happen. For the last time, surrender. Death first. Will you promise not to hurt him? What was that? What was that? If we were to surrender, and I return with you, will you promise not to hurt this man? May I live a thousand years and never hunt again. Promise me you'll return him to his ship. I swear, it will be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back to Florin and throw him into the pit of despair. I swear it will be done. I thought you died once and it almost destroyed me. I could not bear it if you died again. Not when I could save you. Come, sir. We must get you to your ship. We are men of action. Lies do not become us. Well spoken, sir. What is it? You have six fingers on your right hand. Someone was looking for you. <laughs> about trying to escape. Your chains are on far too thick. And don't even dream about being rescued, neither. The only way in is secret. Only the prince, the count, and I know. So I'm here till I die. Till they kill you, yeah. So why bother curing me? The prince and the count always insist on everyone being healthy before they break you. Mm, so it's to be torture. I can cope with torture. They don't believe me. You survived the fire swamp. You must be very brave. But no one withstands the machine. Before the following dawn, Buttercup and Humperdinck were married. <laughs> My father's final words were... Hold it. Hold it, Grandpa. She marries Wesley. I'm sure of it. She doesn't marry Humperdinck. That wouldn't be fair. Well, who says life is fair? Where is that written? Life isn't fair. I'm telling you, you're messing up the story. Now get it right. You want me to go on with this? Yes. All right then, no more interruptions. My father's final words were, love her as I love her, and there will be joy. I present to you your queen. Why do you do this? Because you had love in your hands, and you gave it up. But they would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it. Your true love lives, and you marry another. True love saved her in the fire swamp, and she treated it like garbage. That's what she is, the queen of refuse. So bow down to her if you want. Bow to the queen of slime, the queen of bill, the queen of putrescence. Boo! Boo! Rubbish! Ten days till the wedding. The king still lived, but Buttercup's nightmares were growing steadily worse. See? Didn't I tell you? Yes, yes, you're very smart. Shut up. And it comes to this. I love Wesley. I always have, and I know now that I always will. If I must marry you in ten days, please believe that, that I will be dead by morning. I can 
can never cause you grief. Consider our wedding off. Did you return this um, Wesley to his ship? Yes. We'll simply alert him. Beloved, um, I suggest a deal. You write four copies of a letter. I will get my four fastest ships, and we'll send them in each direction. The Dread Pirate Roberts is always close to Florin this time of year. We'll run up the white flag and deliver the message. If Wesley still wants you. Bless you both. If not, please consider me as an alternative to suicide. Are we agreed? My Wesley will always come for me. Your princess really is quite a winning creature. A trifle simple, perhaps, but uh, her appeal is undeniable. I know. The people are quite taken with her. It's odd. But when I hired Vicini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. It was going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. <laughs> Once Gilda's blamed, the entire nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. Now, where is that secret knot? It's impossible to find. Ah. Uh, are you coming down into the pit? Wesley's got his strength back. I, I'm starting him on the machine tonight. Tyrone, you know I love watching you work. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, a wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. Get some rest. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Beautiful, isn't it? It took me half a lifetime to invent it. I'm sure you discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. <sighs> At present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject, so I want you to be totally honest with me on how the machine makes you feel. This being our first try, I'll use the lowest setting. of the suction pump is centuries old. Well, really, that's all this is. Except that instead of sucking water, I'm sucking life. I've just sucked one year of your life away. I might one day go as high as five, but I really don't know what that would do to you. So let's just start with what we have. And remember, this is for posterity, so be honest. How do you feel? <laughs> Fezzik and Inigo were reunited, and as Fezzik nursed his inebriated friend back to health, he told Inigo of Vizzini's death and the existence of Count Rugen, the six-fingered man. Considering Inigo's lifelong search, he handled the news surprisingly well. That's enough! That's enough! Where is this Rugen now? So that I may kill him. He's in the princess with the castle, but the castle is guarded by 30 men. you handle? Ten. I don't think more than ten. Leaving twenty for me. I need Vizini to plan. But Vizini is dead. No. Not Vizini. I need the man in black. What? Look. He bested you with strength, your greatness. He bested me with steel. He must have outthought Vizini. And a man who can do that can plan my castle onslaught any day. Let's go. Where? To find the man in black, obviously. But you don't know where he is. Don't bother me with trifles. After 20 years, at last my father's soul will be at peace. There will be blood tonight. Rise and report. The thieves' forest is emptied. 30 men guard the castle gate. Double it. 
I want my princess safe. There is but one key. And I carry that. <laughs> oh, my dulcet darling. Tonight we marry. And tomorrow morning, your men will escort us to Florin Channel, where every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our honeymoon. Every ship of your four fastest, you mean? Every ship but the four you sent. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Naturally. Naturally not those four. <clears throat> Your Majesties. You never sent the ships. Don't bother lying. Doesn't matter. My Wesley will come for me anyway. You're a silly girl. For not having seen sooner that you are nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. I would not say such things if I were you. Why not? You can't hurt me. Wesley and I are joined by the bonds of love. And you cannot touch that. Not with a thousand bloodhounds. And you cannot break it. Not with a thousand swords. And when I say you are a coward, it is because you are the slimiest weakling ever to crawl the earth. I would not say such things if I were you. You truly love each other, and so you might have been truly happy. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybook says. And so I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. Not to 50! Ah! Father, I have felt you for 20 years. Now our misery can end. Somewhere, somewhere, close by is a man who can help us. I cannot find him alone. I need you. I need you to guide my sword. Please. Guide my soul. Wesley's only faking, right? You want me to read this or not? Who gets Humperdinck? I don't understand. Who kills Prince Humperdinck? At the end, somebody's got to do it. Is it Inigo? Who? Ah, uh, nobody. You mean he wins? Oh, Jesus, Grandpa, what did you read me this thing for? You know, you've been very sick lately, and you're taking this story very seriously. I think this is a good place to stop. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Sit down. I'm all right. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yes. In the pit of despair. Well, we Montoyas have never taken defeat easily. Come along, Fezzik. Bring the body. The body? Have you any money? I have a little. Just hope it's enough to buy a miracle. That's all. What? What? Are you the miracle max that worked for the king all those years? The king's stinking son fired me. And thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! Beat it or I'll call the brute squad. We need a miracle. It's very important. Look, I'm retired. And besides, why would you want someone the king's stinking son fired? I might kill whoever you wanted me to miracle. 
He's already dead? He is, huh? I'll take a look. Bring him in. I've seen voice. Sir. Don't rush me, Sonny. You rush a miracle man, you got rotten miracles. You got money? 65. Eesh! I never work for so little, except once, and that was a very noble cause. This is noble, sir. His uh, wife is crippled. His children on the brink of starvation. Are you a rotten liar? I need him to help avenge my father. Murdered these 20 years. Your first story was better. Where's that devil? He probably owes you money, huh? Well, I'll ask him. He's dead. He can't talk. Ooh, look who knows so much, huh? Well, it just so happens that your friend here is mostly dead. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. With all dead, there's only one thing left you can do. What's that? Go through his clothes and look for loose change. Hey! Hello in there! Hey! What's so important? What you got here that's worth living for? True love. True love. You heard him. You could not ask for a more noble cause than that. Sonny, true love is the greatest thing in the world. Except for a nice MLT. Mutton, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. When the mutton is nice and lean and the tomatoes ripe, it's so perky. I love that. But that's not what he said. He distinctly said, to blave. And as we all know, to blave means to bluff, eh? So you're probably playing cards, and he cheated. Liar! 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 Get back, witch! I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. But after what you just said, I don't know if I even want to be dad anymore. You never had it so good. True love, Max. He said true love, my God. Don't say another word, Ever Valerie. Since Prince Humperdinck fired him, his confidence is shattered. You promised me you would never say that name! What? Humperdinck? Yeah! Humperdinck! 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 Humperdink, 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 Humperdink. True love is expiring. You don't even have the decency to say why you won't help. Nobody's Humperdink, hearing nothing. Humperdink, 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 Humperdink. This is Buttercup's true love. You heal him. He will stop Humperdinck's wedding. I make him better, Humperdinck suffers? Humiliations galore. That is a noble cause. Give me the 65. I'm on the job. That's a miracle pill. The chocolate coating makes it go down easier. But you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency. And you should go swimming for uh, at least what? An hour. Yeah, an hour. At least an hour. Thank you for everything. Have fun storming the castle. They think of the way. It'll take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye. Illegal. There's more than 30. What's the difference? We've got him. Help me here. We have to force feed him. Has it been 15 minutes? We can't wait. The wedding's in half an hour. We have to strike in the hustle in the bustle before him. Tilt his head back. Open his mouth. <coughs> How long do we have to wait before we know if the miracle works? Your guess is as good as mine. I'll beat you both apart. I'll take you both together. I, I guess not very long. Why won't my arms move? You've been mostly dead all day. We had Miracle Max make a pill to bring you back. Who are you? Who are you? Where am I? Where, why am I on this wall? Are we enemies? What's going on? Where's Buttercup? Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Buttercup is marrying Humperdinck in little less than half an hour. So all we have to do is get in, steal the princess, break up the wedding, and make our escape. After I kill Count Rugen. That doesn't leave much time for the old dilly-dallying. You just wiggled your finger. That's wonderful. Actually, mate, I've always been a very quick healer. What are our liabilities? There is but one working castle gate. Come on. <sighs> Guarded by 60 men. And our assets? Your brains, physic strength, my steel. That's it? Impossible. Uh, if I had like a month to plan, maybe I could come up with something. But uh, this? Mm -mm. Nope. You just shook your head. That doesn't make you happy. My brains, his steel, your strength against 60 men. And you think a little head jiggle is supposed to make me happy? Hmm? Cheapers. If only had a wheelbarrow, that'd be something. Where did we put that wheelbarrow the albino had? 
It's over the albino, I think. Well, why didn't you list that amongst our assets in the first place? <sighs> or I wouldn't give for a Holocaust cloak. There we cannot help you. Would this work? Where did you get that? A Miracle Max. If it's so nice, he say I could keep it. All right, help me up. Cracky. Now, guys, 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 look at me. Guys, 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 I'm going to need a sword eventually. Why, you can't even lift one? True, but there's hardly common knowledge, is it? Thank you. You don't seem excited, my little muffin. Should I be? Rights often are, I'm told. I do not marry tonight. My Wesley would save me. Marriage. Marriage. This what brings us together today. Marriage. That blessed arrangement, that dream within the dream. Take it around, Ben. Take it around. I am the great Byron Roberts. My men are here. I am here. But soon, you will not be here. The Dread Pirate Robbers, take those survivors! All your worst nightmares are about to come true! Love, true love, will follow you forever. Here comes my Wesley now. Your Wesley is dead. I killed him myself. Then why is there fear behind your eyes? Red Pirate Robbers is here for your soul. And do you, Princess Bravo Cap? Man and wife. Say man and wife. Man and wife. Escort the bride to the honeymoon suite. He didn't come. That little Spanish brat I taught a lesson to all those years ago. <sighs> it's simply incredible. Have you been chasing me your whole life only to fail now? <clears throat> well, I think that's the worst thing I've ever heard. How marvelous. <clears throat> There's a shortage of perfect breasts in the world. It'd be a pity to damage yours. Oh, Wesley, darling! Good heavens. Are you still trying to win? You have an overdeveloped sense of vengeance. It's going to get you in trouble someday. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Montoya, you killed my father. Prepare 
to die. Save that. so fast it never happened this old man said man and wife did you say i do i guess we sort of skipped that part then you're not married if you didn't say it you didn't do it wouldn't you agree your highness a technicality that will shortly be remedied but first things first to the death no to the pain i don't think i'm quite familiar with that phrase i'll explain and I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. That may be the first time in my life a man has dared insult me. To the pain means the first thing you'll lose will be your feet below the ankles. Then your hands at the wrists, next to your nose. And then my tongue, I suppose. I wasn't finished. The next thing you'll lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with it. Wrong! Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. So that every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Every babe that weeps at your approach, every woman who cries out, Dear God, what is that thing? will echo in your perfect ears. That is what... That is what to the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. I think you're bluffing. It's possible, pig. I might be bluffing. It's conceivable, you miserable, vomitous mass. But I'm only lying here because I lack the strength to stand. Then again, perhaps I have the strength after all. I knew it. I knew he was bluffing. I knew he was... Shall I dispatch him for you? Thank you, but no. Whatever happens to us, I want him to live a long life alone with his cowardice. Inigo, where are you? Ah, there you are. I saw the prince's stables, and there they were. Four white horses. And I thought, there are four of us, if we ever find the lady. Hello, lady. been in the revenge business so long. Now that it's over, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Have you ever considered piracy? You'd make a wonderful Dread Pirate, Robert. They rode to freedom, and as dawn arose, Wesley and Buttercup knew they were safe. A wave of love swept over them, and as they reached for each other... What? What? <laughs> oh, it's kissing again. You don't want to hear it. It's okay. I don't mind. Okay. 
since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. <laughs> this one left them all behind. Now I think you ought to go to sleep. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. So long. Grandpa? Can you come over tomorrow and read it again? As you wish. How has it got any sportsman? I got it. <laughs> I think he's getting closer. 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 Are you ready? Action. Hit it. So I'm gonna take a step and I'm gonna go. Woo! You're gonna put me over there. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes, yes, you're very smart. Shut up. No, oh, smart, 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 smart. But vision is dead. But vision is dead. But vision is dead. Sleep, kaput, no more. And shaking, little subtle, and lighting. Nice little shaking. I feel proud. <laughs> <laughs>